In a world of boring talk, misinformation, and mindless chatter, two superheroes emerge from the asses and, and ashes. Ben, is this asses or ashes? Huzzah! Bring the action. When Happy hour with Ben and Alexander. Pull up a chair. Raise a glass. Enjoy it in the chat. <laughs> it's talk radio with jazz hands. Oh, my God. You had to say that. <laughs> I have been a fan of this comedian. Do you like how I did that poetry? Comedian. Comedian. It's a, it's a, a good a effort. Keep going. Julie Goldman, who was in the original cast of the Big Gay Sketch Show. She's which, fucking hilarious. Pardon my she's language. She's so <laughs> funny. So she was in the original cast on Logo TV, and now she uh, she has a, her one-woman show. It's mm-hmm. going to be at the Renberg at the Village, and I'm so excited. And she's actually on set right now, but where she's going to be calling oh in God. live. You guys, she's a writer for Joan Rivers on the Fashion on Police. On the Fashion what? Police. What? Yeah, this is going to be a fun show. It's and oh, we'll, we'll, tell, we'll tell a little bit more about what she might be doing with us. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Thank you so much for calling in. Oh my God! Thank you so much for calling in. Oh, oh, Julie, bump it up a little bit. So, <laughs> I was telling everybody, I have been such a fan of yours since Big A Sketch Show, and you are hilarious. Your, well, your shows, well, your music, because you also sing along with your act. You are probably one of the funniest people I've ever met, <laughs> and I don't like to share the spotlight. So. <laughs> Hats wow. off to you, lady. Thank you. <laughs> so tell us about your. Tell us about where are you at right now? Why couldn't you be in studio with us? Yeah. Well, uh, I'm working on a shoot, and right now I'm actually in the car because I was going to run an errand and then come back. Great <laughs> for me because I stole away because I pretended that I needed to go do something. <laughs> That's so awesome. That that is so awesome. Thank you for that. You have uh, a one woman show coming up uh, this next weekend, right? Uh oh! Did we lose her? You she, still there, Julie? You you offended her. I did. You offended well, her. Maybe she'll call back. It's all right. But let's talk. You want to talk? She's got when, her. She what? Is. She's back. Okay. We got you back, Julie. That's just rude. Oh my god! <laughs> what it's so happened? rude. That was so bizarre. No <laughs> worries. No <laughs> worries. It happens. I'm sorry. I offended you. I was talking about an, a one-legged Asian driver. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 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 but that's what I get for lying. Just being so blind. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> what so, are you guys doing? What are you guys doing in the studio? Just Doing gay things? Oh, we're just, we're just chatting it up. We're just there. talking about how wonderful you are. So I have a question for you. We're doing a, a show live at Don't Tell Mama. So when are you going to come on and be on with us? Yeah, well, um, I'm going to come in February. Awesome. Yeah! Yes, yes, we yes. got it. We got it. So tell everybody about your show coming up this weekend because, like I said, you, yeah. you're just hilarious. Well, thank you. Well, I'm basically, um, I've been doing a show, I think now, this will be the third one at the uh, L.A. Gay and Lesbian Center's Rainbird Theater, and it's just become an annual sort of tradition. We do it once a year now, and it's just a nice, big, fun show. Um, it'll be me, you know, an hour show, but I have a great opener, Teddy Margus, who I adore and who people are going to love. He's so funny and sweet and awesome, and... Um, it's just gonna be, you know, it's gonna be music and comedy and fun times and put the jokes. And Hell yeah! You know, Julie, I I love the Renberg Theater. It's such a great space. But Absolutely. one thing I hate about events at the Gay and Lesbian Center, they never have like a good buffet because gay people oh don't God. eat in public. <laughs> they have absolute vodka. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, they have absolute vodka up the yin yang, and then no food. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there's always, that's true. There's always some sort of bar, and there's never any food. Well, gays don't eat. Well, the lesbians do. So ah! I, don't know why they don't. I don't know why they don't have food. Because every les would be up in there eating a slider. And ah, okay, I swear. Okay, oh, I'm sorry. Are you in a drive through at El Pollo Loco? <laughs> oh, El Pollo Loco. Yes. I'm at a El Pollo Loco drive through I, I don't know. Favorite, El Loco. I'm actually pretty excited about their new banquet meal for 20 bucks. You get, like, three... Uh, dead chickens and one live chicken you take home, and it has taquitos and oh, chips. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just a little food for thought. I, I, I. But no, you are also a writer for, for the fashion police, right? I was. I was uh, I, with my writing partner, Brandy Howard. She and I wrote together on fashion police for a little under a year, and that was a very extremely crazy experience, and obviously <laughs> it was exciting, too, because we got to meet Joan Rivers, which was a lifelong dream. I mean, it was incredible. Like... I was going to say, so, I mean, writing I mean, jokes for the fashion police has got to be something that all comedians kind of want to strive to get to. Like, do you sit with her, or did you sit with her and write these jokes out, or uh, how, how did that it process more, work? 
Yeah, like we basically what you do is you they send everyone away. They give you the list of like you know the looks, the people in their outfits and whatever, and we'd write a million jokes or thoughts or whatever, and then we come all together and sit around the table with Joan and Melissa and the producers. And Why was Melissa there? And, and we just hit them. That's all awesome. Wait, wait, that wait, is wait. Incredible. Why was Melissa, Melissa there? Melissa's behind She's the camera. Funny. She's behind the camera. She should be behind the camera. She should be under the camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, just mean. I think, that, I think that Melissa's like the executive producer. Yes, sir. She, she is. Yes, really? ma'am, she oh, is. She's, yes. too, yeah. she's gorgeous. Yeah. She's talented. She's on the cusp That's of typical fashion. of my, my co-host to put his foot in his mouth. But talking about your show, when you come up with your, your act, like what is your process that you, you kind of go through? Do you just sit down and, and kind of have a, like jokes that you always write out and kind of flow? What is your process? I think my process first stems in some sort of rage, <laughs> and then it sort of grows from there, and then I have to go write down, like, something that just pissed me off, or I thought was really annoying, or, like, can you fucking believe that, or that person, or what the, I don't know, or something on TV, and, like, oh, my God, I can't, I, and then write it, write it, write it out, or I'll think about it for, like, a, a, ad nauseum, I'll just think and think and think, and then I'll either go on a, go at a show and just let it vomit out, or after writing it, I'll somehow, I just have to keep getting it out. I'll develop a story or a line of thought for a long time. Like, I'm not a prolific comic as far as, like, coming up with joke after joke after joke, but I'll work on a concept for a very long time until I feel like I've got it, and then I can go and do it right and that kind of thing. I love that. What What I love about your delivery is that you just, you, you just like, sell it. You just, like, you just <laughs> give it everything. And, you're, and, like, your frustrations are our frustrations, but the way you word it is so hilarious. It's what's going on in people's minds okay. when the actions yes. are actually happening. <laughs> like, okay, so tell me a little bit about your transition from New York City to L.A., which is what has been in the last uh, couple of years, right? Yeah, I think, I'm, I think now I'm in my fourth or fifth year now living in L.A., but definitely the transition was... <laughs> You know, it was hard. I, was, I had come to L.A. back and forth for years and was like, I'm never moving to L.A. Everywhere's <laughs> dish. Man, I can't be in L.A. And everything's in New York and blah, blah. And then, and of course, everyone in New York doesn't want you to, to move to L.A. because they think New York is the shit. And everything's in New York. and want to just go to L.A. And we're going to go to L.A. And then it just was the time was right. And. I knew that I had to make the change, and I wanted to find more work, and I wanted to be in a different place, and my whole life was changing, and I was like, I'm going to just do it, and I just did it. I moved on Christmas. Like, oh, my gosh. That is, that, that's yeah. crazy. But you're Jewish, so you don't care. It was crazy. Oh, Jesus. Exactly, because we kill Jesus. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> And, and, but I think also I noticed that um, once you got to Los Angeles, you noticed a little bit of a difference between the people from down here in Los, uh, like Southern California and the people up in the Bay Area. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, yes, well, that is true. And I definitely, um, the people of the Bay Area, which I learned was uh, the Bay Area, because I would say, like, hey, are you from, where are you from? Oh, I'm from the Bay Area. Like, I don't understand what you're, I don't understand what you're talking about. And... And it was like, oh, San Francisco? No, no, no. San Francisco, no. It's, it's, it's the Bay Area. It's encompassing. It's encompassing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's many areas around the Bay. And I definitely have met tons of people from that, the Bay Area. And obviously, look, the Bay Area is beautiful. It's awesome and blah, blah, blah. But what I did find is that it's so progressive. It's conservative and very politically correct. And I have gotten in trouble so many I there. think that is brilliant. <laughs> I know, and we actually. I mean, yeah. <laughs> ben and I spent, I think, like almost a week in San Francisco. Hated it. <laughs> well, yeah. it was just it was a unique yeah. experience. I liked it. You didn't. <laughs> it I just think, was, it's mean. I think if you if you have an inappropriate sense of humor and you feel that nothing is precious, and or if you are a person who isn't sensitive in a way when it comes to humor. And if you kill you Jesus. Cannot, if you kill Jesus. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, you can't live in San Francisco. And if you, yeah, if you, did you just say, and if you kill Jesus? Yes, yes, he did. He did. Once again, <laughs> foot in the mouth. <laughs> Do oh, well, you and you crime, everybody. Get over it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I can't wait to have you. Study. You're coming in studio in March, right? Yeah, well, whenever. Yeah, we're going to figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll get you in, yeah. definitely. It's, it's going to be a shit show. I can't wait. I really, Julie, thank you so much again for calling in. Where can fans find oh, you? God. What? <laughs> Thanks for paying attention to our show. No, where where can where can the fans find you at? Oh, 
Um, at the El Pollo uh, Loco drive through My Facebook page, Julie Goldman, or Julie Goldman Annex. I have two Facebook pages, and they can find me there. Just Google me. All my shit will come up. And come to my show Saturday night at the Renberg Theater Woo-hoo. with Teddy Margaret. It's going to be so much fun, and we're just going to gay it up and, you know, have yeah, a lot of laughs. Yeah, buddy. But, um, Oh, and also, also, good news, everyone should also tune in to Bravo in March for the People's Couch, because Brandy Howard and I are coming yeah. back. Yeah! Okay, Julie, let me tell you something. Ben and I auditioned for that show. And we was the last us, minute. They told us we were a shoe, and they told us to buy a new sofa. They told oh, us shut up. No, they buy, didn't. To buy hors d'oeuvres. This is not true. <laughs> they didn't pick us. This is not true. <laughs> no, Whatever. They did not. Can you imagine? What can you no. imagine? They picked the skinny bitches with the flat ironed hair <laughs> that didn't have any nibbles. <laughs> they have like a bottle, like they had a bowl of potpourri. It's all that they about the nibbles. <laughs> I know. I know those guys don't eat at all. I was like, why don't you guys? You got this so thin and like so good yeah. looking. Whatever. It's like, like, like you know, why don't you have your bowl of coke and your Christmas? <laughs> Dia I'm excited Muertos. in the next in this season. I want to eat every show. I'm gonna force. <laughs> I want us to eat every show. I want to be the the people who sit with couch. Oh my god, that's because sponsorships, I'm man. That's sponsorships. Us. Julie, invite us over, and I will bring the new El Pollo Loco banquet with the live chicken. And I'll bring the KFC. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we can do a live oh my god, let's chicken. Do- oh. Flattering. It'll be great. Done Ladies, and done. I'll, I'll bring a piñata. Done and done. Julie, I love you. I can't wait to meet you in person. Thank you so much for calling yeah. in, and then we'll talk to you very, very soon. How about that? Okay, good. I love it. I can't wait to see you guys. Uh, yeah, right on. Have a great night, Julie. Talk soon. Bye. Okay. 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 Bye. 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 Oh, that's going to be awesome. Am oh. I on? Oh. Am I on? Am I on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah there I am. Bam, bam. Can you imagine all three of us in the same it's room? It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, and she plays the guitar and sings. So she, we're, you guys, she Mama. will be at our one of our Don't Tell Mamas, but you could bet your ass. What if we actually do the people's couch with her? Well, it'll be fun. Hmm. <laughs>